welcome. I'm Wendy Irene from GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com and this message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I want you to go into the message with the simple intention of gaining clarity. My purpose is to connect you with your own intuition or your inner voice that's coming up within you. So see it as an opportunity for your intuition to be sparked and not like me or cards telling you what's happening. Pay any attention, especially pay attention to anything that comes up within you that's been coming up repeatedly for you, or if it comes up and then repeats afterwards. I find that our higher self or the universe or God, our spirit team, or however you want to look at it or refer to it, often repeats these loving messages to us. So it's really about you listening to your own inner knowing. And it's a collective energy reading, so not every energy is going to fit everybody. Just take the things that make sense for you. Okay, Taurus, the very first card is be honest with yourself. And I feel like I should read this to you. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So taking time to listen to your heart. So... Sometimes we don't necessarily want to look at something because, especially as Taurus, sometimes we can be slow to change. I'm a Taurus, so I can say that. But it's time to really look honestly, like what is it that you really want? What is it that you really desire? Or what is it that, you, that really needs to be done? What is the truth of the situation? Allow yourself to see it. And you might want to take some quiet time to do that and ask yourself those questions. The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like the message here is about receiving. Sometimes we can be really great at giving, but it's also important to receive, like to give and receive in balance. And it's like these rays of golden light are coming down to his hands. And this is a very good financial card. So maybe some affirmations about being willing to receive. You know, I am willing to receive all the good that the universe has to offer me. The King of Pentacles. This is a very great card to pull. Um, for some of you, this can be, if this is about love for you, it can be like a sweeping you off your feet kind of love. Um, it's also very stable. And with the, the Knave of Pentacles here too, I feel like so there's just so many pentacles. There's an overwhelming amount of pentacles in this reading and that's earth energy, your energy. But it's making me feel like a lot of you are really focused on your work and your finances right now. And this is, sometimes you're doing some things maybe that you don't necessarily enjoy, but like you're, you're doing it with strength and you're getting it done. Like if you need to do some more work or you're working extra hours or you're figuring it out, like you're doing, you're focusing. You're focused on your work and your finances. And this is a good thing with the Three of Pentacles because this is a like paying attention to where your money is going, paying it to, like, I would say making a budget is extremely important. Know exactly where your money is going so that it's serving you in its highest possible way. And in terms of love, this can, if this is about love for you, this can mean, like, maybe someone that's a friend, it becomes romantic. Maybe you didn't see that coming, but, um, I feel like with the King of Pentacles, it's like a very stable, it feels long term. I feel like the King of Pentacles is, is just this wonderfully grounded, loving energy um, and responsible, it feels very responsible. The Five of Cups is signaling to me that it's really important to be careful of your attitude towards things because our attitude and the way we look at things can have a huge impact on how we, um, on the quality of our life. Because there's so many times where we have a choice of what our attitude's gonna be or a choice of how we're gonna look at things. So for example, say you're doing some things for work that maybe they're, they're not fulfilling or your favorite thing to do, but like what, what can you change about your attitude to make life more enjoyable for you? Because this card can be a sense of boredom in a way. So if, say you have this long-term, say you have a long-term love in your life and that is your situation, 
what can you do to reignite some of that um, passion in the honeymoon phase? Because that's a, it's a normal cycle. So you might be feeling bored. You could be feeling bored with work. You could be feeling bored in some of your relationships. There's a sense of boredom. And I think that's what's coming up with this attitude. Be careful of, of your attitude towards things, all right? Because you can choose to see what you do have and just see, be grateful for what you do have. And that is a powerful place to create and manifest from. So I would say when we, and it happens to all of us when we get stuck in boredom or we just may be focusing really hard on our money and our finances and like, because I know with Taurus, like, we like to feel stable. So, you know, you may be working hard to try and figure out how you can have a lot of financial stability in your life, but um, make sure you check in with yourself. Look honestly at things and check in with yourself about how you really feel and what is it that you really want to create and is your current actions in alignment with that. Okay, Taurus, I hope this message helped. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like it and resonate with it, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified of new videos to come. Know that I am energetically supporting you here on this channel and I am so grateful for your time and your support. It means the world to me. Thank you for all the things that you do that help these videos circulate and for all the support you guys give me. I hope you have a wonderful week, Taurus. I'll be back again soon with a new message. Bye.